everybody, it's Nat for Beauty Stat, and I just wanted to talk to you today about lips. This fall, red lips seem to really be what's in. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not always comfortable wearing a red lip. I have found things here and there that allow me to wear red lip with confidence. For red lips, what do you need to do? You need to make sure, first off, your lips are nice and conditioned and moisturized. A lot of women choose to prime their lips first, putting something over it, and then coloring in their lips that way. Um, I have found a product that you don't really need to do all that stuff with. It's so amazing. This stuff goes on super, super pigmented. You can basically, in one swoop, you can put all the lipstick on that you need and uh, I can tell you I, t I can tell you that it will stay on for a very long time so you're probably wondering what it is I'm talking about and I am talking about Makeup Forever's um, Rouge Artist Intense Lipsticks. Now this is a new line that is coming out for fall. There are over 50 shades of this lipstick coming out, 11 of which are red. They come in matte, they come in pearl, and they come in satin. I'm going to show you a couple of swatches of some of them just so you can really see how bright and how vibrant and how truly beautiful these really are. I have a really cool tool in front of me and this is a Makeup Forever lipstick shade finder. And what it does is it takes your skin tone and it takes your hair color. It tells you what shades in the Rouge Artist Intense that are gonna be good for you. So I have brown hair and I have kind of a pink skin tone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm at the pink and I'm going to shift till I get to my brown. And it tells me for pinks, I the perfect pinks for me are lipstick P11 which means it's going to be pearly, M5, which is a matte, S29, which is a satin, and S35. So the perfect reds, S43, S45, and S48. I am actually wearing S45 now. So this is S45, and that is what it looks like and this stuff is so smooth so creamy you put it on your lips and your lips are conditioned you do not have to worry about a moisturizer I I'm I'm just kind of at loss at a loss of what to say because usually my lips even after I put lipstick on like they dry out real quick I put this stuff on went to a baseball game and my lips stayed this color for probably two out of three of those hours and that's with me eating and that's drinking and so this is a really good product it tells me my perfect nudes sorry p18 which is a um, pearl and m2 which is a matte i were to do this say in sephora or at a makeup forever a place that sells makeup forever I would know right away what shades I need to get. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to swatch some of these for you so that you can see them. I got quite a variety of colors. This one right here is 46. This is also a satin. And that is this color right there. Colors were a little bit intimidating to me until I got them on and um, some of them I felt kind of ridiculous wearing, I won't lie, because it's out of my comfort zone. It's kind of the point this season is to get you out of your comfort zone. We've got MAC coming out with the Dare to Wear and these super vi vibrant, bright colors. She Dazzle from MAC is coming out with these really pearlescent, these glittery colors. So it's all about getting out of what's comfortable for you and making it comfortable. So this right here is number 48, and this is so dark. Again, out of my comfort zone. Okay, here's number 41. As you can see, these are all varieties of reds, but every single red is different. 11 different red shades. You would not think that there can be that many shades of red, but really there are. There are reds, there are purples, pinks, and neutrals. This is number 36. Pinks scare me. 
and this is the first pink that I put on and I was not literally terrified of. This is number 31 and it's kind of a mauve. Again, I cannot, cannot, cannot say how smooth and soft these products go on. I wore this one first because it looked to be the least intimidating. It's a very pretty light neutral color. And what's really awesome about these is that you can build these colors. You can put them one on top of the other to get a different effect. You can put, I put, um, I put lip glasses on top of them, lip glosses. You can put whatever you want to make the color that you're going for. This is number 49. It's a very, very pretty, like vampy purple. Again, not something that I'm used to wearing, but I was really surprised when I took pictures and I saw that it didn't look terrible. <laughs> and this is number 14, which is also a purple, but this one has a bit more blue to it, I think. And that's this one right here. And last but not least, I had to save this one for last. This is number 40. Orange. <laughs> Again, never dreamt in a million years to buy an orange lipstick. However, it actually, I think, looked look pretty good. You could totally rock an orange lip if you do it the right way. Makeup Forever, the Rouge Artist Intents, they're all about getting you to wear something that's perfect for your skin tone and your hair type. Amazing staying power, amazing pigmentation, amazing product, period. 50 new lipsticks. Whatever works for you, uh, what colors do you like out of these colors? These are pretty crazy. Uh, would you wear an orange? Would you wear a purple? What about the pink or the mauve? What do you think? Um, just let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think is going to be awesome this fall in terms of the red lip. Or do you not like red lips so you're going to try something different? I'm dying to hear what you have to say. I'm Nat Nagel for Beauty Stat. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye. Thank you.